Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the React testing and here we are using React testing library which is something new and really very popular. Okay, so before I take a look on to another example, for in the first video we did this first example where we were actually using these different methods after render get by text, get by text ID, test ID and we were providing the IDs in the HTML DOM nodes and based on that we were checking that that is having content equal to zero like the counter or uh, past props or past the string. So all these things we were able to test and we were we are using the testing library react and testing library user events these two primary uh, things we were using but now if we see the other examples then these things are going to be grow like uh, uh, if you see this example test.js here i am using pre testing library dom then you will say what the hell is this what this get queries for element what is get label by text right so these things are a lot of APIs which are provided by testing library. So it's better that first we have a look on the testing library documentation and then we will come back and start writing the test cases. So there are two primary libraries, testing library DOM, testing library React. Testing library DOM is also uh, in APIs in the same line. What it is doing is it is helping us to access the DOM, inspect the DOM element, inspect the HTML element by different tags, different label, different uh, area tags, all uh, different tags on the image. I mean, when you are writing HTML forms using different attributes and using this testing library DOM, we can access that particular element directly because in the writing the form, we are writing these different attributes like HTML4, label, all these texts explicitly we are writing and react testing library DOM is providing an API using which you can directly access these particular elements okay so first of all we are going to take a look on to these library so the react this is a testing library let's not call it as a react testing library because this testing library uh, is available for all different segments in JavaScript like view angular react DOM so first we are talking about DOM. This is a DOM testing library, testing library DOM. When we wanted to just DOM testing means you mounted a component, you are rendering a component. Now you wanted to just enter some values in the forms, clicking onto the submit and you wanted to access a particular DOM node like a, a label element, like a text field, like a button, all these things, right? So these all libraries are available. This is a React DOM testing library and in the DOM testing library if we take a look onto the simple example these all APIs it is providing. Now let's talk uh, take a look onto these APIs because this is something which we are going to write in future. Get by label text, get by text, get by text ID, uh, by, get by test ID, query by test ID and wait for. If you remember in our one of the example we were doing the same thing right get by test id so what it is this is a get by test id here we are actually getting the element which is having the test test id equal to title right which is having the test id equal to something else so like test id equal to count test id equal to title test id equal to button all these elements we were able to search so the get test by id Right, so get test by ID, get uh, get by test ID, get by text, get by label text. All these are query utilities to query the DOM. Okay, let's think about this like this. We have a DOM, how we can access the element? Get element by ID, query selector, query selector all, get element by class name, get element by tag name. All these were DOM APIs to access a particular element. Here the only difference is here we are talking about the rendered react component and we are accessing the particular element making a particular actions uh, firing a user event all these things let's say this one here we are providing the label we have input and we have button okay and when we are actually uh, rendering it then you might see we are using all these examples get by label text 
get by test ID wherever the test ID is a printed username. So here you can see data test ID is a printed username. You can directly get this test ID. Okay, here get by test ID printed username the same. Okay, what are other get by label text? And if you see this is the get by label. Here we have the label and the text is username. And where is this get by label text container and we are looking for the username. Right. So this is using this we are able to access this particular input field. Okay. And similarly these are this is a way to access the DOM API get the element by their label text. Right. It will throw an element if it does not found similarly get by test ID or get by uh, test ID is an S there's just a description we are not going through that but here get by test ID in the container component what we are doing here is we are looking for the printed username which is a test ID there okay so we are going to use this testing library DOM and testing library react in the combinations of both of these libraries we would be able to do the lot of testing so if you see here here we are using render fire event wait for screen these are the APIs from react library react testing library react and we can also use testing library DOM and you can see uh, we are rendering this component then we are doing a fire event okay fire event where where the element get by text is a load greetings it can be a button it can be anything and then we are waiting for and calling get by role right all these methods are going to help us so these are react testing methods fire event render mostly we will use render and fire event and wait for whenever there is a sync operation we will wait for it okay so these are the two examples and these are the rest we don't need for now which are angular and other framework testing okay now we are going to implement all these in our examples before going there I would strongly suggest everyone to go through this particular blog. I'm not asking because uh, Robin uh, has written this but yeah I have, I have read this in the past couple of months and I'm reading it every time whenever I want to do a testing. So it is giving us a overall picture about testing library. I will start from here. Let's say this is the component you have written. Okay. This is a simple component app component and now you wanted to test it. So what testing library is providing the render method wait for screen all these methods react testing library is providing. So render method means if it is able to render successfully that means our test case is passing then we have the screen method right. So screen dot debug I mean uh, you should have access to the react component in your te test. So we can see that if the debug function is doing fine. So when you run the uh, when you run uh, it from the command line you should see the HTML output for your component. So this is the screen dot debug method will do whenever you are going to call it. So it's actually compiling uh, your component into HTML format and it is giving you. Now let's see this is a simple component we have right what this component is app component app component is returning search component right uh, this is app component and there is a handle change on this which is setting the search keyword okay and this is our search component something just simple input text field right if we just copy this and try to understand it in the code here I can write search.js this is my react component I have so I have two components app component and a search component okay now let's try to understand so what all test cover test things we can do let's do it one by one we'll try to understand it so here search dot test dot js dot test dot js and what we are doing here is we are importing our component app from so this is search actually let's call it as an app search app component okay it renders the app component okay if it is rendering this component fine 
and then we are using screen APIs get by text search so if you see this we are also running the all these test cases first of all we are checking if the app component is rendering successfully or not and then screen dot get by text search and now we are using screen API and we are doing get by text search so let's go to the app search component get by text search so here we can see this is our search component here id we have search type value on change and did you can see there is a label search and here we are doing get by text search right so according to this example what we are doing we are rendering this component and you can see screen dot get by search to be in the document so whatever the document we are rendering so this particular element is already there okay let's try to see it by console.log what we are rendering get by text and then we can do the assertions that this particular thing is in the document okay it is running the test cases uh, we are running all the test cases we can just do describe dot only now you can see what reference we got so this is the html get by text reference right oh man this is a big object right and what a test we can do that this is available in the document screen dot get by text search to be in the document so whatever the document we are rendering this is available okay so uh, it will throw error if this particular element is not in available in the document so we should always use this particular thing which says I mean even if this particular element doesn't found it will not throw an error it will just say okay this test case is failing screen dot get by text is available in the document okay now these are actually screen apis and render and react testing library search types now we will talk about these different methods these are very important like we are using get by text get by label text get by alternate text of an image get by display value get by placeholder text of any input text field get by label there is a label tag we are using get by role we are using html4 I mean the role attribute right this is for label this is for the display value what display value is in there in the input text field what is the alt tag in the image what is the placeholder text in the input text field text area and all right you can get all these things so you can compare this with the get element by id and all similarly we have some predefined set of methods to get all these elements okay and these are actually get and there is a query methods also this is get this is find and then there is a query method also query query by text query by role query by label text query by placeholder text so just going through these will be useful to understand all these methods which we are using in the react testing dom okay like find by text these are the find by and search types there are, there are different variants we are using and there is a difference between get by and query by right so these are the three sets get by and query by and there's a find by same set of methods available in three different variants doing three different things okay when to use find by when to use all these things like whenever you wanted to do a find operation that this particular element is available or not then you can do the find by text like uh, screen dot find by text is available in the document so this is what testing library is all about if we understand when to use find when to use query when to use search all these things then we are good at uh, the testing library and these are utility methods of testing library that will help us to understand it like screen.debug it will just print what this app component is going to render okay and here we are doing screen.find by text sign in as this is in the document or not it will just do the assertion right and then what about the multiple elements if you want to return an array get by uh, get all by get query all by find all by like query selector all similarly 
and these are the assertion methods which are coming to be empty to be invalid assertion methods can be n number and then there is a fire event like you wanted to click on some button then fire event dot change this is how you can do here I, I find the text field doing a change event there and putting the value javascript in the text area right so this blog is example just go through it now what we will do is we'll try to understand the react testing library these different type of methods and use them one by one with simple simple examples